Polygons are discussed throughout geometry, so it's important to know their characteristics. First of all, a polygon is a closed figure. So if I drew a figure down here, this would not be a polygon, because as you can see, there's this open space here. However, if I drew in a line segment, then it would be a polygon, because now it is closed. The second thing about polygons is that it has at least three sides. If you have less than three, you can't close any figure and none of those sides are curved. So if we go back to this figure I drew originally, and let's say instead of drawing a straight line, I drew some sort of curved line. This would not be a polygon because, yes, three of the sides are straight, but you have one curved side, so this would not be a polygon. And the third thing is that they're classified by the number of sides. So what you're gonna to need to do is memorize a table that's probably found in your textbook that lists the number of sides and the name for that polygon. This is something that you're going to have to memorize because you're going to see it on tests and quizzes throughout geometry. Now there's two different types of polygons, convex and concave, and the difference is in the diagonals. So remember, a diagonal is a segment that connects non-consecutive vertices. So in this polygon, if I drew in my diagonals, if I drew them all in, you notice that all of those diagonals are contained within that polygon, so it would be considered convex. To be concave, you need at least one diagonal that is outside of your polygon. So here I could draw in a diagonal that is not within this polygon. And it just so happens that we have two in this polygon, but that you only need one to be considered concave. Now the last key thing about polygons is how do you name them? Well, that's pretty easy because all you have to do is pick one vertex, so let's say I pick D. If I start with D, I can go in clockwise or counterclockwise, but I'm going to have to be consecutive. So if I start with D, there's two ways I can name this pentagon. I can go D, C, then B, then A, then E. So that's one way to name that polygon. The other one, if I'm starting with D, is to go in the opposite direction. So I could say this is D, E, A, B, C. So when you're naming a polygon, pick any vertex and go in a consecutive order, either counterclockwise or clockwise. Remember that when you're being asked on your true and false questions. The key things about polygons, closed figure, three sides, none of which are curved, and you classify it by how many sides it has.